All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today I want to give you guys a quick update on the global top grossing situation following the release of the LR Blue Gogeta and LR Vegito Blue banners approximately six hours ago. It's currently 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The banners dropped at 2, so almost exactly six hours. It's not a lot of time, but as you can imagine with a celebration of this magnitude, of this much hype, things are moving pretty quickly. I mean, based on my best research, and I'm not saying it's perfect, I'm super tired right now, I'm super sleep deprived, so I might have missed one or two regions, but from what I can see on Sensor Tower, there are at least 10 different regions right now that have reached number one overall top grossing in their respective iOS stores. Alright, so why don't we just jump into it and see what these regions are. Starting with number one, France, of course, always coming in clutch for global. I mean, no surprises really, right? So we got France at number one, and the next one is the US at number one as well. And then we also got Canada. Now this is really a surprise because Canada almost never reaches top grossing. But for this celebration, and yo, I will say, Feel like I contributed a decent amount. All right, last night I probably spent like two, three hundred dollars on stream buying those purple stone packs, a couple of 91 stone packs, all that stuff. So I definitely helped with this. Not a ton, not a ton. I'm sure there's some huge Canadian whales out there, but I, I you know, I played my part. All right, so that's number three. And then we also have Germany, top grossing, beating Tinder finally. And Italy at number one. Yo, Coin Master is always up there, man. What is up with Coin Master? Anybody that plays Coin Master, can you please explain to me, like, what is so great about this game? Because it's constantly in the top two, three, often at number one, just consistently, you know? Anyways, Italy at number one, Luxembourg at number one, Hong Kong at number one, Belgium at number one, Spain at number one, Austria at number one. And that's it. okay. So basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, yeah, so far, ten. I've heard eleven, but uh, from what I can see, from what I found on Sensor Tower, once again, it's ten regions, but there are quite a few regions that are very close. All right, I'll show you guys a few that are at number two right now. So we got Switzerland, we got New Zealand, we got the Netherlands, as well as Macau, a couple others at number four or five or also at number two. And uh, since, like I said, it's very early in the day, it's only been six hours, they have a ton of time to get up to number one overall, right? So basically, things are looking really, really good, but it's really not a surprise, right? Did anybody really not expect us to hit top grossing in a ton of regions, considering it's Blue Gogeta and Vegito Blue, right? So as far as rewards go, expect a lot of stones, right? If we do the normal calculation right now of seven stones for every region, then we can pretty much expect about 70, right? But the way that these top grossing rewards work for anniversaries, generally speaking, is a little bit different from your average top grossing rewards for like a normal celebration. And Bandai usually likes to give us a bit of a bonus for these special occasions, maybe as a way to say, thank you for all the money, Please keep giving us more in the future or something like that. And with that said, I do think that all of us can expect within the next couple of days up to 100 free dragon stones in our boxes for this top grossing reward. And to some people that might seem like a lot, maybe it seems a little bit unrealistic, but if you look back to last year's celebration, the four year anniversary and the Super Saiyan 4 banners, that's actually exactly what we got. For hitting top grossing for those banners and when it comes to the blue fusion banners i mean by all means they're much more hype and i just see a lot more people buying stones for this banner or these banners and i would imagine that once everything's said and done and everything's settled we will be hitting top grossing in more regions you know for these banners compared to the super saiyan 4 banners last year and if we got a hundred stones for last year then we got to get at least 100 stones for this year, right? It just makes sense. But that being said, I do want to be clear that nothing is guaranteed. So we could end up getting less stones once the rewards are actually distributed. But 
I think 100 stones is very realistic, very likely, and uh, we'll know for sure in a couple of days once we get them. Now, some people were saying that they thought we're gonna get the stones today or like within a couple hours like JP did, but the big difference between JP top grossing and global top grossing is that with JP, there's only one store to consider, whereas for global, there are like over a hundred stores to consider, right? So it usually takes a little bit longer to calculate and I guess for Bandai to collect all the data. And from my experience, it usually takes about two to three days, maybe a little bit longer for us to actually get the top grossing rewards. So don't stress if you don't see it in your box today or tomorrow or even the day after, we will eventually get them. It just might take a little while all right so that's today's top grossing update hope you guys uh enjoyed it like i said many regions are rapidly what well, already at top grossing or rapidly reaching there and uh we should be expecting a very very good reward this time around a shout out to all these regions that uh, are currently at number one and if you guys are in a region that is close like at number two or number three or something like that and you're cool to you know buy a couple more stone packs maybe consider doing that and helping us reach number one there as well to guarantee us as many you know stones as possible for this upcoming top grossing reward all right so anyways that's all i gotta say guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys are enjoying the five-year anniversary hope you guys are pulling fire or at the very least not getting shafted super super hard and uh, that's it, guys. I'll be back with more Dokkan content, more Dokkan videos in the near future. But uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.